going to get right into the first one. She Belongs to the Street series. And today on episode one, we're going to be talking about gender roles. All right. The reason why I'm talking about gender roles tonight is because I think both men and women now we're at odds at who's supposed to play what and who's supposed to do what, who's supposed to be the man, who's supposed to be the woman, who's supposed to cook, who's supposed to clean, who's supposed to pay all the bills, who's supposed to do all this. Everybody gets pulled in multiple directions whenever it comes to dating now, when it comes to being in a relationship. We have so many things that distract us, so many ways to pull us apart. Blue pill, red pill, mid towel, girls got whatever it is they got going on. But today we're going to get down to gender roles in women belong to the streets all right first one we're going to talk about all right since we got women in here what's belong to the streets what's the meaning of it all right we have videos about this but we're going to talk about it today what's the meaning of a woman who belongs to the streets we're going to start off with number one all right the number one thing is I can't even see that. The number one thing is most men know her body from social media. All right. If that girl has a photo on social media that she used to thirst trap, she belongs to the streets. The moment a man knows what she looks like, she belongs to the streets, period. When she when she's easy to get to, she's easy to see. You can see her good side, you can see her bad side, you can go on Facebook. Whenever she's accessible to a lot of men, she belongs to the streets. All right. Next. Likes and views are important to her. All right. Likes and views are important to her. Which means if she's constantly snapping photos to get a response, she belongs to the streets. That's the streets. It's when you belong to the world. All right? Everyone can get a piece of you. That's belonging to the streets. She's sexually liberated. She wears tight clothes. You're going to see her with weave in her hair. She does whatever she needs to do to be noticed. Is a woman that belongs to the streets. If you have a girlfriend and you guys are together, but she got photos on her page and bikinis and, and, and sexual pictures, your woman belongs to the streets. Simple as that. Every committed woman out there who is married and in love and have kids, if they got a Facebook, they got, they got restrictions on their Facebook that only family can access. That's the type of woman you want. If she has only family can access, then that's good. All right. That's not a woman who belongs to the streets when they go to block out the rest of the world. Mr. Keeping it simple. Big shout outs, bro. Big shout outs. Big shout outs. Code label. Big shout outs, bro. So understand if your woman is accessible online, she automatically belongs to the streets because people can get to her. Next, two or more kids by different dudes. Automatically girl that belongs to the streets. All right. She belongs to the streets. If you have three, if you have five kids and four of them by different baby dads, you belong to the streets. All right. Two kids by the same dude. I'll let that slide. Two or more kids by different dudes. You belong to the streets, period. All right. The moment that a man is able to look at you and only see sex, she belongs to to the streets because it's only certain women that guys are going to look at and get that and those are going to be easy looking women guys don't look at women that are wearing scarves and covered up like yeah i want to have sex with her because your mind's blocked out that's why muslims have their women um covered up so a man doesn't think about having sex with her. It's the same thing when you're dealing with a regular woman. That if she belongs to the streets and a man can look at her and fantasize about having sex with her, she automatically belongs to the streets. But if a man looks at her and she seems innocent and purified, then she don't belong to the streets. Simple as that. The more you learn this red pill, the more you're going to be able to look at a woman who's weathered a little bit. 
and you're going to know she belongs to the streets. A lot of these women out here are weathered. You can tell that they belong to the streets, all right? Remember, two or more different guys by different dudes belong to the streets. The moment guys see her as a sexual object, she belongs to the streets. So a lot of you guys need to go back and look at your girlfriend's profile. Go look at those photos. And then you'll see where all your headache has been the whole time. You got with a girl who probably belonged to the streets, tried to clean it up a little bit, and then the streets came back and got her. That's how it works. If they belong to the streets and you take them off the streets for a little bit, knock the dust off of them, the streets may come back to claim her. You got to go back and check her profile to see that. All right, next. What are gender roles? Gender roles. All right. Gender roles are an ideology, all right? It's an ideology from which people come up to live their life based off of a principle, all right? It's a way of thinking made up for certain regional and, and direction, all right? There's different ideologies when it comes to gender roles, all right? When it comes to gender roles in a relationship, we have traditional roles and we have modern day roles, all right? In the traditional roles, men and women had completely opposite roles. A roles. Men were seen as the provider for the family and women were seen as the caretakers of both home and the family. In modern day roles, whoever loves the other person the most has to follow their rules. Big shout outs, big bro. That's big bro right there. Big shout outs. Thanks for the big 50, bro. All right, what do I mean by that? In today's world, the person that decides who's going to play what role is the person that's not in love. So if a lot of these beta males out here are going for these women and just willing to adjust who they am to make her happy, then guess what? She decides who plays the role. She decides who's going to play the gender role. It's whoever. It's whoever is in love the most. You have to follow their rules. So if a woman's in love with me the most, she got to follow my rules. If you guys are in love with that woman the most, you got to follow her rules. That's just how the game go nowadays, psychologically. All right? That's how you got to understand. You find a woman right now that's proud to say that she love her husband. I guarantee you she love cleaning the house. I guarantee you she love doing dishes. I guarantee you she loves doing those things. Guarantee you find a woman that says she don't like doing it. I guarantee you she got a beta male husband. Guarantee it. Next. 97% of women have a manly mindset. This place 97% of women in the streets. All right. That's what you have to understand. When a woman develops the, the mind of a man, she automatically is in the streets. Let's go ahead. She plays the role of a man and believes that if a man does it, she can do it. All right? So 97% of women, you have to understand, have already made up their mind that they are going to outdo a man. Once she makes up her mind that she's going to outdo a man, she automatically belongs to the streets in the red pill world, all right? Women that have the manly mask are, are masculine. They're moody, aggressive, and no relationship skills. Nowadays, 97% of women do not have relationship skills because they really don't need them with liberation. Understand that. As long as they work hard, they make enough money to go buy their own food. All right. They make enough money to go do all of these things that men normally do. So they haven't developed relationship skills because their mothers didn't take time out to say, hey, this is how you cook. This is how you clean. All right. When a man comes home for work, do this. This is how men are. This is how you get men to work. A really good wife knows exactly how her man thinks. Women don't teach their daughters that anymore. They don't teach them to learn a man, to study a man, to keep him focused. They don't do that. So they have no relationship skills and they're sexually liberated. All right. That's what a lot of guys out here, we are understanding is that a women are sexually liberated. That's what makes it hard for them to settle down. And that's what makes it hard for a man to give in. It's because like you can see it in Kanye now. 
Kanye da got to the point of his relationship where he's looking at Kim and he's like, you know what, man? I done married a whore. Period. I done married a whore and I don't know what to do. That's how come he was losing his mind talking about my daughter would never model for Playboy. My kids would never do that. He's sending a message to Kim like, yo, I kind of regret marrying you. Now that I'm going through this loony phase, I realized the type of woman that I married. You see that blatantly with him. He's going to give her an option. Disappear from the scene or we're going to get a divorce. I guarantee you that. So understand, when it comes to 97% of women, they're not attractive to alpha males or sigma males. All right? You have to understand that. When a man is alpha or sigma and he's on his grind and he's on his purpose, 97% of women are not going to be attracted, are not going to be attracted to you whatsoever, all right? They're just not going to be attractive. That's why it's crucial for all men to get on their grind. That's why it's crucial for all men to get on their purpose so you qualify for that 3% out there. But for 97% of women out there, you're not going to be attractive to an alpha or sigma male but there's a guy for you we're going to get into that next three percent of women only alphas and sigmas will see her all right i told guys before if you want a good woman you want to find that needle out of a haystack you have to know how to be a magnet to drag her out all right alpha males and sigma males are the only males that can spot out that 3%. 97% of men are going to think every woman on the planet is bad because they have not got on their purpose yet. But for every alpha and for every sigma male out there, you're going to be able to spot this out really, really fast because you're on your purpose. So you've been blinded by emotional things because you've been you've been distracting yourself with becoming better as a person. So when you start becoming better as a person, you haven't had time to sit back and continue to think about the negative things on women. You've taken the negative things on women and you correlated them to make you confident that you don't make that mistake again, which is the overall goal of Red Pill, is to keep you from making the same mistake over again. So understand, when it comes to that 3% of women out there, most of them are going to be overseas. I'm going to be honest with you. They're really not here in America. You're talking to a guy that's been to 17 different countries and lived in five. I'm telling you, majority of that submissive woman who is seeking a leader, who's going to be humble and who has relationship skills, like that's all she has is relationship skills. She may know how to, she may not know how to start a business. She may not know the, the latest trend. She may not know the latest fashion. She may not know who Cardi B is. She may be, I've heard of her, but I don't like her. She may be that girl, right? She's going to be more attractive to an alpha and sigma male than any other woman on the planet. When you become alpha and you become sigma, I'm telling you this right now. You're going to be able to walk in a room full of naked women and not get a hard on because you understand their brain, how their brain's working. That's the level you got to get to. I told guys before, the owner of the strip club and the guy that's going to the strip club, look at women two different ways, period. A strip club owner is not in the back talking to these girls all sweet and innocent and mesmerized by their beauty. No, that's for the blue pill that's out there tricking his dough. He know exactly what that guy want and he know how dumb she is. When you become alpha and you become sigma, you're able to spot out these small percentages of women that are out there. And I can tell you this right now, majority of these women are going to be overseas. They're not going to be here in the U.S. But you do have some good ones in the U.S. But for the most part, oh no. All right, let's get to the next slide. 97% of men are beta males. All right? That's what we have to come to an understanding here. When we start talking about men, we must understand that 
amongst us as men, 97% of us, of y'all, are beta males. Period. All right? Majority of you guys are weak, moody just like a woman, submissive to women. All right? This is what we battle when, when we walk around in day-to-day -day life. Put woman's emotions before logic. That's got to be the worst beta male trait in the world is to take a woman's emotion and put it before logic. All right. That is the ultimate beta male trait that keep women going. And that is the hardest trait for red pill to break is that emotional that emotional covering up for women always giving in to their mistakes and you putting their emotion before logic all right when you learn to put logic before a woman's emotions you have to get used to her crying you have to get used to her getting mad because it didn't go her way. You got to be able to fight that little thing like, no, Anthony, you're supposed to be saying this, but you're telling me the truth. Yeah. You guys are scared of that little argument when it comes to the woman. That's why it's the hardest trait for men to break is putting a woman's emotions before logical reasoning. This has really hurt men in the past. It brought me too movement to a full blown era right with that being done the world has started to create it and the reason why 97 percent of guys are blue pill is because you're not on your purpose so you don't have it when you're a man and you not and you're not on your purpose you're not earning your role you're not earning your gender role. You feel what I'm saying? When you're on your purpose, you're going to decide who's the boss. When you're on, I mean, you're going to decide where the family goes. When you're on your purpose, you can tell a woman, oh, you don't want to get down with me? Go back to your DM and pick one. Go pick one. We, we finna go and build up out here. We get ready to go there, right? Most beta males are not on their purpose. They're living life emotionally just like a woman. To break that curse, to break that emotional curse, you got to first become strong as a man. Once you become strong as a man and you realize that that's your weakness, then you're able to go break her weakness. You know what I'm saying? You're able to break her down. That's what we got to change because as long as we have that 97% of guys are beta and then we have 97% of women that are, at, that, that, that are masculine, the world is going to always be off. Why? Because the 97% of women are refusing to change. And 97% of the beta males don't know how to change. So most of these guys... Red pill is hurt guys who don't get women. We, we live with our moms. We live in basements. We're just bitter because some woman hurt us. No, red pill is the next thing since sliced bread. But 97% of guys out there don't get it. What you have to understand about red pill, and I'm going to say this about red pill. In the movie, The Matrix, only nine people had the red pill out of the entire world. Only nine. So understand that in this red pill world that we're in, we're still a small group. We're still small. We have a lot of procrastinators here. We got a lot of intruders and we got a lot of cover-ups. We got a lot of blue mill. We got a lot of blue pill guys that are coming in taking the red pill, but they're hiding it underneath their tongue. And then when nobody's around, they're spitting it out. That's what we have going on. 90% of guys, 7% of guys are not on their purpose. Big shout out to Sheldon Rose. In fact, thirsty guys, treat them for it. Big shout outs, bro. Thank you very much. Let's get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get those likes up. Get me up to 700. Back on the subject. If we, we need to get 97% of guys on their purpose to start changing their brain. Next. 
Only 3% of guys, and most of you are going to be part of this 3%, are either Alpha and Sigma. All right? Only 3% of guys in the world today are going to actually earn their gender role. Only 3% of guys are going to earn the right to say, I'm a man and, and, and it goes my way or the highway. You cook, you clean. Only certain guys are going to be able to do that because only 3% of guys that are alpha and sigma are on their purpose. Smarter, stronger, more successful. The people master. The mastermind. The mastermind. I want you to think about that. The mastermind. In order for you to be the perfect mastermind, to be the perfect sigma, to be all of these things, right? You have to first disconnect yourself from reality and only pay attention to logic. Remove your emotions and only pay attention to logic. See, what we have here in the world, we have 97% of guys, right? Hold on, let me go to my next one. All right, what we have here in the world, we have 97% of women that are masculine, right? They all want a man, all right? They all want a man. So to them, a man has to like them because they've chosen to compete with a man. So if they got a nice job, they try to use that for bargaining power. Like, I got a nice job. I don't need a man. The more they tell you that they don't need a man, the more they're crying out inside of their heart like a little girl. Like, please just chase me. I did all this working hard for a man to like me. But I really want the guy that I like to like me. That's the problem. That 97% of women are trying to get those 3% of men to like them based off the other 97% that's gassing them up. But the guys that are only that 3% only want the 3% of women that are out there like I showed in my, in, in, in my slide before. The alphas and the sigma males want that other 3% of women. But when we walk outside the house, we know that 97% of women are under the illusion of the beta male, right? So that's what's happening in the world. The 97% of women are mad that none of those 3% of men want them because they did all that work that Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Meg Thee Stallion, and, 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 and Beyonce told them to do. They did all that. They said, if you do that, you become valuable. Women did that. They said it become valuable. But the 3% of guys said, no, I want a woman I can take care of. Big shout outs to Jamie. Big shout out. Jamie Selman. Big shout outs, bro. Damn, I really owe you one, my dog. I really owe you one. You're here every week and you drop that every week. I really appreciate it. So what you that's the problem that we're having. If we could get 97% of these beta males to just wake up, it'll change the entire mental conditioning of women because women are realizing at the end of the day, I cannot go and date another woman. They can't go date another woman. Why? Because those relationships are more domestic than men relationships. Ask a woman. A woman would tell you a lesbian relationship is the worst relationship to be in. It's nothing but fights every single day. But that 97% done got so far off track. They're doomed. All right? These blue pill guys out here, they're going to take these women at their worst because they're just horny. That's it. So 97% of women can get fat, sloppy, bent out of shape. And as long as we got 97% of men out there, they're going to keep gassing them up on that. So it's crucial in this war of the sexes, this gender role of a man. If you want to be the man that takes back masculinity that takes control of your life and wants to live a traditional life, you have to be able to call the shots 
because every day that you wake up, that woman out there gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. The type of girl that you that you want, she gets smaller by the day, which means that if you are really chasing a relationship and you're really chasing marriage, which I'm not with. Let me go ahead and put this in there. I don't condone marriage. I don't believe that you should do it. I think that you should have a girlfriend for the rest of your life. If you're going to do it, never get married and never move in with her until y'all just been together for so long. All right. Back on track. Like what I was saying, in order for you to get to that 3%, you got to get on your purpose and you got to get on it fast and you're going to have to grind harder because Cardi B's are increasing. They're increasing. They're like, they're, they're like the gremlins. Remember, they kept growing and growing and growing. So that window of opportunity is just shrinking, shrinking and shrinking. And then after a while, it's in the next two to three years, you're just going to be in the fires of pits. All majority, all the women would be damaged by then. And the reason why I say that is because you're starting to see the older women try to act young. And then you're seeing the younger women. They're just completely lost. Everything in the middle is arguing and confused. That's where we're at. But you got some quiet ones in the background that you can grab. But you got to do a whole lot of work to get there. And it's up to you. If not. Stay away from the dating game, all right? In order for